Strathaven House is one of the earliest and best surviving Palladian country houses in Scotland. It fell into dereliction during the 20th century and was almost lost before being taken on by the Scottish Historic Buildings Trust. We undertook a comprehensive restoration over a 14 year period and successfully returned the building to active use. This tour will take you through the key spaces and history of this fascinating building. Strathleven House and Estate sits in the Vale of Leven, three kilometres north of Dumbarton. The present house was commissioned by William Cochrane, a Scottish aristocrat and politician who inherited the estate in 1686. The following year, William married Grizzle Graham, daughter of the second Marquess of Montrose. The couple's coat of arms can still be seen side by side in the pediment above the main entrance. The estate inherited by William Cochrane had previously been called Kirkmichael, but he renamed it Liebenside. There are no surviving archives about the house's construction, and therefore much is unknown. During the restoration project, William and Grizzle's initials and the date 1708 were discovered above the main doorway. The 8 looks to have been altered from a 0. It is therefore thought that the house was initially completed in 1700, with final alterations or an enlargement completed in 1708. The exterior appearance of the house has changed very little since this time. Strathleven House is special because it is a very early and relatively unaltered example of Palladian country house architecture. The design consists of a central block topped with a classical pediment and flanked by two lower wings. This layout was later repeated in many other country houses across Britain, but in 1700 it was still very new. The design of Strathleven is attributed to the noted architect James Smith. This attribution is based on Smith's other known buildings and surviving drawings, both of which can be closely compared with Strathleven. It is not just its architecture that makes Strathleven remarkable. Inside, there are also a number of rare surviving examples of early 18th century interior decoration. The first greets you as you walk through the door. A beautiful carved staircase balustrade, matched by illusionistic paintwork on the opposing wall. There is only one other surviving staircase like this in Scotland, at Kinross House which is not open to the public. The extravagant decoration continues in the adjacent oak room. This room is named for the panelling that covers all four walls, decorated with rectangular panes and paired Corinthian pilasters, topped by a classical cornice and an intricate frieze. This carving is the only survivor of its type in Scotland to remain in situ. The only comparable pieces are those created for Hamilton Palace, demolished in the 1920s, and now on display in the Museum of Fine Arts Boston and the National Museum of Scotland. The similarity between the Strathleven House woodwork and that created for Hamilton Palace is sufficient to suggest that they were likely carved by the same person, the Welshman William Morgan. The house William Cochrane and his wife created was evidently something to be proud of, yet it was sold to another family just 15 years after his death. Little changed until 1830, when the house and land were purchased by James Ewing, 
a wealthy Glaswegian merchant. Much of Ewing's wealth came from the estates he owned in Jamaica, worked by enslaved Africans. When slavery was abolished in 1836, Ewing received £9,328 in compensation for the release of 586 slaves. This money was invested in a number of ways, including expanding the size of the Strathleven estate and developing the gardens and outbuildings. He appears to have only made two major changes to the house. The first was the addition of a portico, which has since been removed in order to restore the house to its Palladian appearance. The second was to give Strathleven its present name. The Strathleven estate continued to be owned by the Ewing family until 1947, when it was compulsorily purchased by the Board of Trade, who used the land to build the nearby Vale of Leven industrial estate. The house was briefly used as office accommodation before becoming abandoned in the late 1960s. Its condition quickly deteriorated as it suffered from vandalism, rot and lastly a devastating fire that destroyed much of the internal structure. The Scottish Historic Buildings Trust was set up in 1985, partly in order to save Strathleven. We purchased the house the following year and its image became our first logo. The journey towards saving this building was not a simple one, and the struggle to find a suitable use for the building meant that work was carried out in two distinct phases. The first phase consisted of the immediate repairs necessary to prevent the building becoming a ruin. These were completed in 1996 and consisted of a new roof and windows, enabling the building to become watertight once more the restoration of the exterior and the installation of basic internal partitions. The house then lay empty for three years whilst an end user was identified and a new funding package was put together for the full restoration of the interior. The work of converting the building into offices commenced in 1999 and was completed the following year. Luckily, the presence of dry rot in the building during the 1970s meant that almost all of the precious 18th century panelling had been removed from the building and placed in storage by Historic Scotland in 1979. This meant that it had survived the fire and was able to be restored and reinstated during the restoration process. The illusionistic paintwork on the staircase had suffered considerably more, but the surviving portions received specialist conservation treatment and the missing elements were recreated around them so that the beauty of the original scheme might be once again appreciated. The project cost a total of £2.4 million, with key funding contributed from a number of organisations including the Strathclyde European Partnership, Dumbartonshire District Council, Historic Scotland, Scottish Enterprise Dumbartonshire and the Heritage Lottery Fund. The Scottish Historic Buildings Trust continue to own Strathleven today and manage it as a 21st century office hub and thriving events venue.